The earthquake that shook the Seattle area Friday morning may not have impacted us here in the Rose City, but what if there was one big enough that made using our cell phones impossible for hours, maybe even days? There's already plans in place for when that just-in-case day comes. Laura Hall is a volunteer with Arbor Lodge Emergency Team. The Neighborhood Emergency Team program trains people like me, people like you, um, non-professional folks to respond during an emergency. So we are trained to do it safely. We can do basic light search and rescue. Hall, along with other volunteers, are also trained in triage and radio communication. She's part of a program that's unique to Portland. It's called Basic Earthquake Emergency Communication Nodes, or BEACON for short. The BEACON program is a great way to get and give information, uh, but the first thing you want to do is reach out to the people around you. Talk to your neighbors, talk to your coworkers, talk to anyone around you who appears to need help. Most of the sites are located inside parks or schools. It's important because we need to be able to communicate if our phones stop working and the computers stop working. So if I need help, I can go there and request help. In case of a natural disaster like a big earthquake, volunteers would then reach out through radio communication to first responders who will be able to reach someone who might need help. Hall says in the wake of natural disasters, people have a way of jumping into action. We have an amazing way as humans of figuring it out. And making sure those in need aren't alone. Hall also adds how important it is to have a family plan in case of disaster. She says have a place to meet like inside your house or have a backup plan too, just in case.